Mary Chapter, I'm Matt Capsport President. I'd like to welcome you to Westwood and the historic Bell Buildings, the future uh, home of Matt Cap Public Theater. I'd like to take a moment to thank a few individuals for making this day possible, uh, specifically our family, fellow council members, Matt Cap's Board of Directors, actors and staff, Rosemary Schlachter and Michael Rosa, who are our capital campaign chairs, the Westwood Urban Redevelopment Corporation, the Westwood Civic Association, and the Westwood Coalition. Without this public-private support, we would not be here today uh, announcing a future home and a major investment in the west side of Cincinnati. Uh, right now, I'd like to turn it over to Eric Cranley. He's got a few comments. John Lewandowski, our president. Great. It's great to be here. Um, yesterday, um, I'm proud to say that I introduced an ordinance to contribute uh, $500,000 uh, from the city to this project to make sure that this building can be renovated consistent with the multi-million dollar capital campaign to make this the permanent headquarters and performance space uh, of Madcap. And, yeah, go ahead. See, this is a place where imagination and creativity is encouraged. And if you think about the future of our city, the future of our neighborhoods, it's going to be the neighborhoods that are willing to embrace their creativity and their imagination are going to be the neighborhoods of the future. And I believe that that's the case for Westwood, this great historic neighborhood that has got much brighter days ahead of it after such a great story uh, history. And I firmly believe that there is a trend, if we can capture it, of repopulating the city. We see that downtown, we see it over the Rhine, and it's a wonderful development. We still have a huge opportunity to revitalize our historic middle class neighborhoods. Uh, obviously, I grew up in Price Hill. Here we're in Westwood. These are tremendously incredible opportunity neighborhoods. Uh, four uh, that, in my opinion, the potential hasn't even begun to be tapped. And here, in the historic part of uh, Westwood Square, you have this amazingly beautiful building. And you know, Cincinnati is blessed with these incredible 19th century and early 20th century architectural masterpieces. And there's always a tendency after shifts in time to tell, oh, when are we on this here, Councilman Luna? Come on up. Thanks for being here. <laughs> My wonderful colleague, when are we on this here? We thank him for his support. I also want to point out Christy Bryan. Where is Christy? Christy Bryan is running for state representative and is going to represent Westwood and will be an amazing uh, asset for, for our community. But what, what neighborhoods? like us would have a need to capitalize on with Hanking Winery across the street now, Madcap is bringing in customers, bringing in consumers, bringing in people to come see uh, the shows. And, and imagine, you know, the theory for the last 20, 30 years is that families and kids go to the suburbs. That's been the theory. Here, we're putting a headquarters for children for the wonderful activities that are going to happen here in this theater. And we're gonna we're gonna use that to help repopulate our city, repopulate Westwood, and take it to bigger uh, and better places. I believe having been part of the revitalization of Price Hill, where it's also bringing on a new theater, that the arts can be the spark that revitalizes our neighborhoods and our communities. And as a person with a great deal of history here on the West Side. The amount of support for the arts on the west side is a story that has never been properly told. Whether it's the Codell Theater, whether it's going to be the Incline, whether it's where the subscription base is, and here, standing right behind me, is a testament that we have a cultural commitment uh, to letting the arts be the spark that will revitalize Westwood. So it is with great pride that we, at Wendell Young and the rest of the city council, myself, we're going to put our money where our mouth is and help spark this revitalization. I'm very proud to be here to support the effort of the Westwood neighborhood community to really rally around uh, this great idea. With that, I'd like to introduce John. Thank you all very much. I'd like to thank the 
mayor and city council tremendously for their understanding of how the arts can impact the community, how the arts can lead revitalization in a neighborhood like Westwood, and how the arts are a critical part and the part of the fabric of our community that helps keep us together and give us pride in our neighborhood and pride in what we're doing and bringing to this location tens of thousands of family members. We will help get people on the streets here. We will help get this kind of movement and excitement occurring in Westwood, the largest neighborhood of Cincinnati. Uh, and to sort of underline all of that, I would like to present to the mayor uh, something that is our hope and dream is that in the future this will be recognized as the unique and one and only family arts district in the city. I love it. Thank you. exactly how this space is going to be used. This, we are here in what will be the future auditorium of the Madcap Center. We will have a 200 seat theater here. Uh, we will have in the back corner uh, a refreshment area, additional restrooms in the other side. In the first floor area we will have our offices, we will have a community education center, we will have an exhibit hall where people can come and see some of our thousands of puppets that we have in our storage and be able to walk and cover and see puppets from around the world. We will have the opportunity for neighborhood kids to do workshops, for professionals to come and experience how you can use a puppet if you are a nurse or a doctor and through professional development courses have the opportunity really to use these tools in their own profession. And this will be open to the public every day. We will have performances every weekend uh, for family audiences, we will have activities for adults, we will continue inviting and working with our cultural partners in the city, like the Cincinnati Chamber Orchestra, No Theater, other arts organizations that are doing important work in the city, and they will be joining us, joining us on our stage here uh, to do some of the work that we'll be doing here in Westwood and creating a unique destination, not only unique for Westwood, but for the region, and this will be one of very few centers of this type in the country. We will be proud here in Westwood to be able to have this activity going on. Thank you all for joining us.